what's going on here? Interesting. God is here in this room. I believe that. Times like this, we can call out and know that our cries are heard. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> Supposed to be fixing a door. Janitor.
Mm, this is different. So what's dream and what's uh, not right now? No, the sound of Tony Hawk is good. Don't believe their lifestyle, V. <laughs> Just hide here till we die. Where he will shred the gnar through. <laughs> it's so innocuous the conversations you have with him.
You know why I beat down Andy Cullen six years ago? You were like dating ghosts or something. I was really into it. Played it like 24-7. Just one afternoon. It's only like something broke. Like I knew them. They weren't people anymore. They were just shapes. And their lines were just things someone had written. And they never existed. They never had feelings. They never would exist either. And it felt so sad. Like I had just lost these real people. And this whole thing we had, it was just me. Alone. And like that realization, like dumped out of the screen and into real life. Went outside, in the tree out front. I looked at it every day. It was like a friend outside the window. Now it was just a thing. Just a thing that was there. Growing and eating and just being there. Like all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head. And that there was some guy walking by. And he was just shapes. Just like this moving bulk of stuff. And I cried. Because nothing was there for me anymore. It was all just stuff. Stuff in the universe. Just dead. And the next day was that softball game. And Andy was the pitcher when I was up. And he was just shapes too. Just lines someone wrote. Like nothing in there. And I was so scared and angry and just, I don't know. Before I knew it, I was on top of him, smashing his face in with the bat. Just shapes. Red shapes all over the grass. After it happened, they made me go to therapy with Dr. Hank. And he made me start a journal. Yeah, he kind of just said it'd be to help me be able to get my thoughts down. Kinda? Sorta? But since this whole thing happened, when I'm alone in a new place, it's all shapes, like back at the softball game. I was doing it fine at college for a while, but I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside or around people alone. And there was this statue of, like, the founder of something. A really shitty statue. Like, all rusty metal. And it was these shapes. And he was pointing down at me. And I was so scared. I didn't leave my dorm room. I either didn't eat, or I ate entire pizzas at once. I downed cough syrup just to sleep all the time. And finally, I got up the courage to leave. And I came home where everything was fine. Where I knew everyone, and it wasn't just dead shapes watching me. Something broke in my head, in my life. Dr. Hank already tried. I thought when I came home, I just, I felt so safe here, and everything made sense for a few days, and then all this, and, and, 
and I'm so scared. I Hi guys. Love you. The hole in the center of everything. What are you? Are you actually a ghost? Or just some guy? What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Talk. Fine. Let's do this. Boom. Get away from her, you piece of shit. You're outnumbered. You okay? Time up. All right, let's do something really stupid. Just one something. Bang, bang. 